Notice up front, this ain't a speed build run. This is a scrub build that'll help you if you're stuck on AT Vol. It's a play it safe and out heal the arc mechanics approach. Arc Temper Valhazak is a fight where you'll have small increments of damage occurring basically all the time. And most of, if not all, the heavy damage can be avoided. If you're like me and still occasionally get hit by those avoidable attacks, this build will be very helpful. My low skill solution to this is using the Mushroom Mancer perk so that I can just heal from anything that doesn't one shot me. Mancer lets you bring the equivalent of 10 max potions into the fight because you can carry 10 mandragores in your inventory and they function as a max potion when you have 3 levels of the Mushroom Mancer skill. It also allows you to heal faster than a mega potion animation. There are other perks too but we'll get to those in a bit. Main thing here, the Moss Wine Mask coupled with the Dober Male Alpha to get level 3 Mushroom Mancer. Valhazak Greaves Beta plus 1 Miasma Jewel will get us to level 3 Effluvia Resistance, which is mandatory in my opinion if you're using a melee weapon. Next up, Earplugs Charm 3 and Basil Coil Beta to get level 5 Earplugs. This will let us get a lot of free damage in when he roars. Finish it off with Kaiser Van Braces plus 1 Tenderizer Jewel to get Weakness Exploit 3. Everything else is just bonus. Two Vitality Gems give me a little more buffer to all that damage coming in. Protection Jewels will be a good option also because they'll proc often when you start taking ticking damage from the Effluvia. I went with the Fire and Ice Dual Blades because he has a two star weakness to both Ice and Blast. You can run it with Decimation Claws if you like for the High Elder Seal, but I didn't notice much difference between the two. Bring your regular items, but make sure you bring Blue Mushrooms, Mandragoras, Nitro Shrooms, Toadstools, Devil's Blight, and Parish Rooms. I have an item loadout saved for my Mancer builds and I would suggest you do the same if you're going to try this. It's a real time saver. Because this is AT Vol, I'm bringing Mega Armor Skin 2. You will not need Demon Drug, Immunizer, Potions, Max Potions, or Dash Juice because Shrooms will provide the same effect. I would also go to the trouble of setting up a radial menu specifically for all your shrooms. It can save you from fainting and is definitely worth the time. Here's the radial menu I used and what effect each shroom provides. Make sure you save your item loadout after you created your new radial menu or you'll lose your work if you change armor sets. Odie shows up and he's a double edged sword. If he gets on Vol's back, then you can get some good damage in with little risk. But, he's also another monster that can attack you or cause you to be out of position. I chose to dunk pot him to play it safe. A couple of quick things here. While you're near this part of the map, recruit a Grimmelkind Helper and pick up shrooms as you go. Use the environment to your advantage. Make sure to maintain your buffs. Toadstools and Devil's Blight will wear off after not too long, so make sure you keep those buffs up throughout the fight. Blue Mushrooms heal like a standard potion, but they can be helpful to top off before you attack the monster. Also, if you're running low on anything, go back to camp and restock in between engagements. There's no shame in restock. Use this clip as motivation, because I got completely wrecked. I stood in front of all instead of being on the side and took a ton of damage, yet I survived. In part because of the Vigor Wasp from my Palico, and then being able to heal to full with the Mandragore freely, because if I run out, I'm going back to camp to get some more. When you're fighting Vol in this spot, make sure you keep an eye on your health bar, because not only do you have his effluvia attacks doing damage, but also the environmental effluvia. If you have torch pods, you can set the stuff on the ground on fire, and it won't damage you. Man, this acid. I was rolling along just fine, didn't pay attention for a second, and fainted because of it. You get a good view here of why earlier I said don't try for damage when he lays down. You can see the swirls in his life drain attack. I was sharpened up and healed, so I just pelted him with dragon pods. You'll want to be behind him when he gets up because he starts spitting effluvia everywhere. Pay attention to your range and position. Here I messed up and paid the price for it. The effluvia spray is a one shot with a full health bar, so learn from my mistakes and don't do what I did. So you get down here and he's went to sleep, but he's asleep in the acid. It's not a big deal. Set your barrels, back away from him, get out of the acid, and then go ahead and rebuff everything, heal up, and then shoot your slinger to set off the bombs. In this area, it's pretty easy to land Heavenly Blade Dance, so go for it. It's a nice break from the Dual Blades routine of terrorizing ankles. If you were stuck, I hope this helped. Is it the best build for AT Vol? Probably not, but it's what worked for me in the end. Drop a like if you enjoyed the video. I'd love to hear some feedback in the comments. Something like, I died so many times, but then I found your Garbage Mancer build and killed Arch Tempered Vol on my first run. Subscribe for more Scrub Centered content. Axe Daddy out.